In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create different layouts for the authors to use when writing a post. So here we have a post with a layout, as you can see, and then we have another post with a different layout. So why would you want to give the author the option? Well, let me show you how that works. I'm going to go over and edit the post. And if I look at this post and let's say based on a selection here, I'm going to choose layout number two and we view the post. Um, let's just refresh. Then you'll see that maybe the image in this post is not working for you and you'd prefer it if um, the article was higher up on the page. So in a case like this, maybe what you'd like to do is give the author the option just to tick edit post, change the layout, update, and then view the post Let's just refresh and then you'll see that it's um, much easier to read whereas with an image like that it um, looks great allowing the author to use this template. Now you could extend that further and it could be related to um, posts that have um, gallery um, inputs or video inputs and maybe you just need to um, change things around. So then you can give the author the choice in the back end just to choose a different layout. And once they've made their choice, then the front end changes. So to make that happen, first thing we do, we head over here to advanced custom fields. And I've just created a field group here called the post layout selection. And the only field in there is layout select. And the layout select, uh, we've, I've just chosen the radio button. So you can only choose one of them. And here I have a choice of three different layouts. So in fact, at the moment there's, um, in fact, maybe we will add just another one then. So we'll add a layout three and we return the default value. And then the value we return is the value. So it's the name that you read over here. That's the value that's being returned. We can save those changes. Now we're inside bricks and you can see that what we have here is we have two sections. So section one is one layout, section two is the second layout. So what I'll do then I'll just add a third layout. So to, do, to get started then we add a section and right and the first thing I'm going to do then is set a condition and that condition will be that the advanced custom field is so it is um, so it'll be dynamic data. We look for the advanced custom field, and that's going to be layout three. So at the bottom here, ACF, we look at layout select, and then here we're going to select layout three. So right, that's done, and save. So now we know that this will only apply to layout number three. And now what I'm going to do is add some content. So pretty much as you would normally do. So um, Maybe what I'll do here is we'll go for um, a kind of different layout. So we'll go for something maybe a bit more traditional. So uh, let's have a look at a title. So a post title. Um, then we'll have the image. And the image. Right, so the image will be the featured image. Right, so we have a featured image that will go there um, in this container. Then everything will be um, centered down the middle. And then this um, block here, going to delete. And then at the end of the image, we'll just add some uh, text. Um, and that text will then be the post detail. So basic text and delete that. And here we're going to just look for the post content and that will post in there. So under the image, we'll just add some space. And let's make that 20 pixels. And then what I'm also going to do at the bottom of the container I'm just going to add a 40 pixel margin. Right, so that's um, all that we had to do there. Um, maybe at the top here, we'll just add a bit of space. 
something like that save right so that's it done now i can head over to my post i can edit the post i'm going to select layout number three update going to view the post and there you can see it's taken on that new layout that we just created so that's how easy it is then to create layout options within the post uh, you might want to give them more descriptive terms and then yeah it might be based on content uh, could be based on the resources video or not so yeah i hope you found that useful and thank you for watching